the golden old is still doing still doing it he really is having some kind of resurgence as well john isn't he the, the form he's been showing the quality and the confidence in his play just just looking at the results i've not seen him throw live for since the world cup where larry did not play particularly well with uh, darren young but since then been onwards and upwards for, for Larry, but yeah, I was, I was 21 back then, John. 21. <laughs> oh, oh well, you're older than you look. Uh, well, here we go then, Wayne. It's a it's a it's a cracking contest already. But uh, the, the other thing I've got to add, as oh, Gary Anderson oh, seizes oh, nicely oh, through to our first one oh, of the match. Uh, that Larry Butler's been to Singapore since he was in Kingston upon Hull. Uh, and he's runner-up in the World Soft Tip Championship as well. So uh, he hasn't had much time back home in Ohio, Dayton, since 81. the beginning of October. He plays a, a lot of darts on the American tour as well. So he just likes competing, I think, John. 58 years 81. of age now, and that doesn't yeah, seem to wane, does it? He just... He enjoys it, like I said. No, it definitely doesn't wane, Wayne. No doubt about it. <laughs> oh, no doubt about that. Fantastic first leg from Gary Anderson against the throw. And maybe Larry Butler will realise quite what he's up against now. We just said a little bit of extra class. 58. Yeah, Gary Anderson, like you've already said, John, the, the world champion, Premier League champion, and also... Players' championship holder and could so easily have been the European champ if it wasn't for Michael Van Gerwen's brilliance in the last four legs just last week. Doesn't seem to be reeling from 100. that. Gary, over the last two years, has shown a, a tenacity that we didn't always associate with his game, but now he really has got that grit and determination of the world champion hasn't he yeah you're absolutely right and i think it comes from the first big success the getting that first big success is the thing that does it. and uh, when he did that was it back in 2011 and he, of course he, he was in the final of this uh, that year and uh, averaged you know 104 in the final and yet lost to taylor 16-4 with a 104 average but uh, he is a, 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 a... 140! I walked in the building Gary earlier today and the first person I came across, Gary Anderson. Do you want a cup of tea, John? Lovely lad. He'd have needed another cupper if Larry would have taken the 170 82. out. 82. Yes. Gary, you require 110. For 2 nil. 10. For tops. 70. It's become a surprise job when he misses now. Yeah. And that, is, that you're right, absolutely right. It, it, it is remarkable. Now, 18 for Bull. Bullseye, quite capable, takes his time, re engages. <laughs> I think he should go straight yeah. for it. Never 40. mind the preparation. Two shot and a second leg. Gary Anderson. 2 0. Well, then Larry 107.36 average. Game on. Yeah, there's something about these big hitters, the big boys of world darts, your, your Andersons, Van Gerwen, Taylor, Lewis, Wade. It, becomes, it looks so easy, and yes. it becomes something that you expect to see from them, week in, week out, and they, they don't let us down, do they? 55. And I often reflect on the way the game has moved in this direction, Wayne, with, with so many players now, five six seven of them regularly getting in the high 90s the hundreds the hundred pluses and of course it's it's always happened but with fewer players and particularly with phil taylor and the great sid Waddell, of course and i used to have that expression bradman-esque the great don bradman nearly averaged 100 in test cricket now they're beyond bradman-esque and, and, and there are several of them that are doing it yeah. They've pushed the level up so much. They have indeed. There's just no stopping them. Another! One second 180 for Gary. Easy. Yes, another one for Anderson. And there'll be more yet during the course of the next nine days, not only from him, but just about every player in the tournament. 
still got quality. Some just have that little bit, and sometimes more than just a little bit extra. Yeah, and it's it's the frequency as well, John. Oh, that's unlucky. That's twice that's happened now to Larry Butler. 56. And that's discernibly off the wire. It was a real bounce and it leapt back it towards him. 3-0. This could Gary be over Gary pretty quickly. Gary to, throw first. to the disdain of those back in uh, Dayton, County Montgomery, State of Ohio, home of Larry Butler. I know his wife Sharon and all others will be watching, not all in there, but right across the states right now. And also in this group, we have Raymond Van Barneveld. 97. We'll take on Andy Bolton. That makes up Group E. Who's a Group E? He's a Group E. He's Group 3 darts together there again for the third time in this match. What is relatively near the start of leg four. Three one eight is already. There's only one Gary Anderson. Ninety seven. Yes, he's toughened up his game, hasn't he, and become a real champ. And that's what champs have to do. Forty one. Gary one hundred and thirty nine. Eight left. <laughs> yeah, it's almost as if it's like shelling peas. One hundred and thirty-one. Larry no, really needs to hit another one here. One hundred. Leaving one six-seven. It's not the optimum pressure he could have put on Gary, but the likelihood is that he won't get a shot anyway. The likelihood is that he won't get a. Larry anyway. Well, this is always nice to see whoever it comes from. And he can get it. Oh, so much needed that treble 19. This is the difference between leaving 1 2 7 and 1 6 7. He can afford to miss on a segment at least. He shows in a full play. 4 0. Gary Rapid, quick fire. Rapid, quick time. The only dart Larry Butler has had at a double was that. Should we call it wayward dart for a bullseye jump? Yes, that's right. When he 97. delayed rather than dithered. Uh, I've seen him do that so many times, and I always think it's better just to go for it, keep the flow going. Oh, Anderson gets a fourth 180. And, uh, I've done Gary Anderson no favours by tipping him to win this event. Well, from what I've seen in the last 36. few minutes, I've no reason to change my mind. <laughs> That's for certain. Oh, the booze of disappointment that Gary Anderson isn't going to hit a nine dart. You're not that easy. Come on. They certainly not. Uh, this fella's had one actually back in uh, when, when we were in Vegas in 2009. It was the last year 81. we were there for the Desert Classic. They had a Players Championship and Butler hit a nine dart in that Players Championship. 99. The former match play champ is on the wrong end of a Tonkin. And yes, you can afford to get beat in this format. But John, can you afford to get beat 5 0? Well, it really does mean you've got to win your next two games, I feel. You can't rely on legs difference. It's obviously against him. And who's to say Anderson won't do this to the other two members of the group? It's going to be tough for him to beat Barney, of course. Uh, by this kind of measure, by this kind of uh, score line, and, and we know how deep Bolton's are tough not to crack. So it isn't going to be easy, but in this kind of form, he's capable of doing it to anybody. Yes, he is indeed. 26 was for five here. 123. Larry will start on treble 19. Well, that's scuppered all plans he had. What the butler saw there was single three instead of triple 19, and it's all over. Anderson 5 0, like swatting flies. Two points to the Scotsman. This evening, we have Wolfie Martin Adams.